to create a free web server, you need to visit cloud.google.com. You press the console because I already created some websites. Uh, so I have some websites there. But I'm going to create a new one for you in Europe or in the US. So based on that, you choose the right location. So I choose VM instances. Then I go to. Now you have a free credit for first year and you can create several locations, see? And then you have to create a new instance because you don't have one, if you don't have one. If you have one, you know how to use it. So after you press to create a new instance, let's call it based on that region. How about Montreal? Okay, let's choose it. So this time I, I'll call it CA, based on Canada. Then you proceed with machine type. You just choose micro because you don't need a real big one, huge one. I'll teach you how to do it later, how to set it up later. Then you choose boot up uh, boot disk and change the image to Ubuntu. You can use Debian as well. The standard Debian works the same, pretty the same way. But I just get used to use Ubuntu. So in several cases, Ubuntu is easier to perform some tasks for me. I choose this quite old image. You can choose uh, 1910 as well, but I'll stick with that because I always can update it. And then you select, you type select, then you allow HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic. Is that's very crucial over here because it's much easier to allow here rather than to allow in your virtual machine. I'll teach you in the pretty old-fashioned way, but you can use this console as well to connect this console shell over there. And then you have to set up your security keys there, your SSH public key. So I'm going to create one for you right here. To do that, you have to generate one. And first of all, you have to create the right directory. Then you have to switch to this directory, then you need to generate the key. As you see, we don't have any key. And then you type ssh key again, type ed25519, and it's going to save it to the default location, which is right. You just type enter, then you type enter, then you type enter. That's all. That's probably about it. Now we have that key. So I'm uh, what I do is I'm, I copy my public um, hash to the virtual machine to make it easier to log into it, okay? And that's, that's it. You just type create and actually I don't see my address. Hide info panel. That's it. That's it. So as you see, we have that IP address over there. You copy this address by pressing this button, of course. And then to log in, what we do is SSH and this IP address. Of course, you can create a label for it or mm, alias to easier login every time. Voila! You're inside uh, your you're inside your server.